Hey everybody, my golden plays Civilization VI Rise and Fall continues with our England playthrough. We got a surprise religion last time and we're trying to make some use out of it here. We, we're in a decent position culturally, science is still a problem, we're working towards that. But I really feel like we need to wage war with our neighbors here a little bit more. Um, obviously Sumeria's kicking butt scientifically as we've seen before they're uh, 84 science per turn they're still only at 42 defense cities which means that like a swordsman like the swordsmen are all right we're, we're working on knights uh we'll be able to upgrade to a few knights hopefully that'll be nice we should look at getting crossbowmen next and you know what i'm interested in so let's see knights in five turn we could then get crossbowmen another 10 turns after that, so 15 turns away. Uh, where do we get redcoats? Is it somewhere in the metal casting? Oh, it's military science. Okay. So, just for the sake of things, let's queue up that and see how long that would take real quick. So we would have to get construction castles. Okay, so that's a lot of tech right there bait at our current rate. Let's just queue up, uh, let's queue up this real quick. Printing as well. Mmm, that's expensive as well here. Dude, we need, we need education. We might need military tactics too. Hold on, let's just go straight to stirrups and then decide from there. I took you guys on a roundabout trip through my mind there. Uh, but, it's okay. Oh yeah, we're waiting for, we're waiting for Magnus to establish here before we chopped. So yeah, I think, I mean, we just need a little turns. We've got the power, we've got, uh, we've got a, we cleared this camp over here. We just need to get our boys up to the front line, I think, here. So let's send you, let's say go there. You, buddy, let's go down here. Just send them, send them on the way into a path where hopefully they don't, uh, block each other from being able to finish this thing you can run but you cannot hide you, you could probably hide if you wanted to you can hide in the crowd like sting <laughs> i forget it's been a long time but uh there's like a a, a gif that i always found hilarious or is it gif eh, doesn't matter um which was i think he was hiding from like I think RVD was like uh, like high-fiving people in the audience at a show for whatever this was, WCW, WWE, I don't remember. Doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> and then there's just a guy wearing a sting mask in the audience. And the guy wearing a sting mask hits RVD in the face with a chair and then removes the sting mask. And guess what? It's sting all along. I was just thinking of stig related memories here now that we've got our uh, our religion. So we're going to take suzerain status from Gilgamesh here. So Muscat is now ours. Muscat? Muscat? I don't know. This is obviously one that I never learned how to pronounce and am probably butchering as we speak. So there's iron right here, which we could use another copy of, but we're right next to this copper. Get the copper upgraded first, then we'll head over there. We already have a source of iron, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, so we got a battering ram up there. We've got swordsmen we can bring to the front lines here. Uh, like I said, we can upgrade these archers potentially here. So you're using this tile, right? Yeah, we've got that locked in. We want, we'll use this next turn. Oh, you don't even have this tile. This belongs to Bactri. You know what? We're going to give you this tile, buddy, because you deserve it. Your town is not very good, and we need you <laughs> to get that campus constructed. So I, I was thinking we could chop these, and I think that's a reasonable chop right there, because we got plenty of production here. And we were looking at 
you know, farming that area potentially right there. All right, London, I know you've, you're not exactly prime material here, but you have eight populations, so let's go ahead and make your tiles better. Because you're probably using some unimproved tiles right now. Yup, yup, you are. We gotta, you always gotta improve those tiles, son. They gotta be improved, and we're gonna improve this for our last upgrade to our boy here. Our industrial zone child. He's so young. But he will develop. He will be a strong industrial zone for us. Don't you dare, sir. Do we have enough to purchase another... Every man should make his son. Another thing here. Every man should make his son. I didn't hear what he was about to say. I, I shouldn't have skipped that because maybe that was relevant to what we were talking about there. My son. Alright, let's get... Uh... Hold on. This might... This craftsman thing might be pretty good for us right now. Are we building any more builders? Workers? I think we might be done with workers for a little while. We probably still need to get some more settlers. Oh, do we want to... <laughs> do we want to cheese this? We got professional army. What's our next... It's seven more turns until we can upgrade. Uh, it's gonna take these guys a while to get over there, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch away from professional army real quick. Just for a little cheese. Where's limes? There's limes. And, let's see. I want some- some of these cities just need to perform better here. So, if you've got a nice industrial zone, which is probably only a city or two at this point, we're gonna make you a little better. At producing things because uh, you know we're struggling right now we've got some problems in our in our territory here so we got a good chop there a good healthy chop in Bristol which will let us build anything we want an industrial zone mmm you know we need we desperately need campuses even though it's not great we need theaters. Money is not as big of a concern, but also very useful for trade routes and things. You know, I think we got to go... Hmm, this is a difficult choice. If we assume that they'll mine this here, then we could have a decent industrial zone right here. But that's also expensive for that proposition. So let's, uh, we got to recover in science, so even though this is not optimal here, I am going to drop a campus down. We'll get it in the turn, we'll be able to make a library there. We're really struggling for science right now, that's the reason behind this maneuver here. Oh, you know what I could do is, here, let's move this to something else. Since we did switch over, we could get a healthy chop on that action right there. So let's, uh... Mm. Can you get anything worthwhile here, campus related? No. Dude, these these cities are, are real, real bad. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we don't have a good spot for that either right now. This spot could be okay for an industrial zone. We could put a mine here, obviously mine here. One of these, this is actually probably the, the best one here, potentially. It's not good right now, but it could be good. So let's just drop an industrial zone here. Move the ancient walls up. There we go. Alright, you need to grow, sir. Sir. So we're coming up. We're going to be going after uh, 
our boy Swolgamesh. We're gonna be dropping from the rafters here. We're gonna be coming in there with some uh, some heavy chariots turned knights. Can we get any more heavy chariots in the time being? Like, uh, can we? Is anyone here capable of making a heavy chariot fast enough? What's our highest production city here? This is kind of ridiculous. Manchester is our highest production city. And they are building a workshop. And they were building a campus next. But they could get a heavy chariot done. Which we could then upgrade to a knight. I think that's probably worth it. Let's, uh, let's queue up one heavy chariot here. And hope for the best. Alright, you're gonna go... Let's go farm this area here. Buddy, here, you just work your way this way. Look at it, buddy. And you're gonna chop this stuff. Okay, so Sumeria, they do have knights of their own. That's interesting. Not very interesting, I guess, but... Uh, they're capable of fighting, for sure. It's not gonna be an easy task over here, but we are the human player, and I feel like, uh, you know, that... that gives us the benefit of the doubt here. We also have a very defensible terrain here, so all the fighting can happen right in here. Which, uh, I have, as a more strategic player than the AI, I would imagine would help us out a little bit. A little bit. Maybe not. What if you... So, question. What if I made a royal dockyard here? Because the, the thing said... Hold on. Pax Britannica. Uh, let's see. Victoria. Constructing a Royal Navy dockyard there will grant an ad additional free melee unit. Um, hold on, let's take a look at Royal Navy. Are they talking about in the city, or are they talking about the placement of the thing? Like, would I get these bonuses if it's built on a foreign continent? As in, if I dropped it right in here, do I get those bonuses in my capital? Because my capital, I mean, technically it would be a separate continent. I'm interested in figuring that out. So I might go ahead. And we also need the era score, so I might go ahead and just drop one over here. As a test. So like this tile right here. Now let's try this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, guys, but it's a test. It's a test, not a trap. We'll figure it out. It's not a bad thing to have anyway. I mean, it's probably one of our better things we could build for our, our group here in our capital. Our capital is kind of hosed. Not hosed it per se, but, you know, could be better. This is Bristol. Bristol just built... A delicious campus for us not all that delicious a little a little tasty could be better all right let's go chop this for our library our science is of the utmost importance here we gotta get this science stuff up and running a little better a little bit better so we're Building an industrial zone here. It's going to take a while. I, we should probably just chop and mine here because this is an actual valuable tile. Whereas improving the other thing is useful. Long term, but not right now. You can wait here, sir. Now we can try to get open borders with... Uh, Somebody here. Obviously, Sumeria would be easier to go through. But can we get open borders with, uh, with Cyrus here? 
You have to have a delegation, don't you? Or be friends or something like that. No, you can just do open borders. I will give them a gold per turn for open borders, sure. Now we can move through their territory. And get our, our little buddy back. You're getting some loyalty issues over here in Abu Salabik. But it, we are prepared or we're preparing close enough yes that's good I like it all right let's get uh, let's get your water mill going here Bristol I like your your attitude sir I think it's good I'm, I'm, I'm a fan here where are we gonna move our boy now that uh, Bristol well I mean Bristol has opportunity here I think we can just leave him here one thing I was thinking of for long term is having a city just pumping out settlers with Magnus so that we can drop cities wherever we're going like if there's a spot somewhere up here right we need cities on every continent and we get units out of it. And potentially, if we're taking cities nearby, we can add some loyalty pressure. It seems like it might be worthwhile to me. To have, like, one city with Magnus dedicated to pumping out settlers to send to the front line. Could be cool. Could be a terrible idea. We'll find out. Because maybe we'll do it at some point. Because while we are culture boys, well, we're a culture girl here in a culture world. We, uh, we also, I'm just going to put him on explore. We also need more territory here that is, uh, premium, premium territory. We need better cities. Our cities just aren't cutting it here, folks. It's just, uh, it's unfortunate, but it's true. Or as Metallic would say, it's sad but true. We uh we do not have the greatest of cities here. Even after conquering somebody else's capital, we're still left hanging dry so here a little bit. That was good timing right there. We got our heavy chariot. He needs to be upgraded to a knight. We're not going to do that until we get professional army back in the uh, back in our midst. We hold it within our mitts. I feel like we need to upgrade our archers to crossbowmen as well. We need some more money here if we can get it. Can we drain some money from our friend here? He's not actually our friend right now, which is good because we're looking to declare war on him and I don't want to backstab a friend. But uh, we don't want to trade away any of our stuff here to hit. So, yeah. I don't think we can get any more money, especially since we're being, we're all about that shiny action. We don't want to give up any of our luxuries if we can get away with it. Even if it would give us like a big advantage here. I know we did early on. Just because we, I mean, early on we desperately needed that, but, uh. That was a concession we made. Oh, wait, we can still make, uh. We can still make some of those chariots if, to upgrade. We don't have the gold capacity to upgrade a whole lot of boys, but, uh. It is a possibility. So Tarsus is over here. Kish. Isn't Kish... No, that's Gish. I was going to say, isn't Kish a game where you're a little, like, black slime ball thing that drops slimy slime all over the walls? I think that's a game called Gish, though. And now we can no longer make uh, heavy chariots again because we just got our second iron resource. 
Can we sell iron to Pedro, maybe? So, we do have some trouble in that Pedro is out here and he loves great people. We need to look at... Let's take a look at that real quick. I want to see where everybody is uh, on generating points here. So, we're generating three... Three points uh, for writing, one point for artist. Um, so other people are generating more than us. Unmet player is generating nine writing points per turn. So we need to step up our game there. Or beat down whoever it is that's doing these things. Maybe a combination of the two. Because that's going to be a problem for us. We can't allow that. And at some point, he's going to yell at me, and I'm going to be like, Nah, B, just ignore me. Ignore the fact that all my guys are on your border. Just ignore it. It doesn't mean anything. And then he'll be mad. But he'll be mad that I'm attacking him anyway. Your delegation is welcome. I need that gold. Pedro, would you like to be my friend? For now? You're friendly with me. Swolgamesh is now threatening me for some reason. When it is not my fault at all. Alright, so we are friends. Can we have a... An, a cultural alliance here, friend? <laughs> we can't trade with him or anything like that, but we may as well lock up his cultural alliance. We might get benefits long term from having that with him as well. Also, we are getting close enough that we might be able to trade with him. Maybe. It's possible. Hey, you get you get those things taken care of, sir. Our science is still not strong, but it's improving. Maintain four trade routes is not a possibility. I'm sorry, medieval fairs, we can't hook you up there, sir. Sir, stop asking if we can do that. It's not possible. All right, we need to put some maybe some mines up here. We need to fix this mine. What's mine is mine. All right, we can send you here. Oh, are you? F You're not fighting him, are you? We may have uh, shown our hand a little bit over here, but that's fine. Like I said, we got this nice defensible thing going on. Well, Scott's not our friend anymore. <laughs> Your navy is weak. That's very true. That is a hundred percent true. One man's Gilgamesh magic. took Muscat back. Okay, so that actually is a problem potentially. It's not a good thing for us. What's our city going to upgrade to strength-wise once we get our knight out here? Hopefully 40-ish? I don't know. I think I'm going to upgrade this one, walk over, fix this one. And then... Who knows from there? Alright, buddy, you just chill here for now. Chill here. Heal up, my dude. We need you guys at full strength. But, so he's... Is he fighting somebody over here? What's he doing? Let's take a look and see if he's at war with anybody right now. There are very honest people. We need to change this around, though. So we wanted professional army. We want... Just professional army right now, I think. We're not making any settlers at the moment, so let's switch to... No, let's switch to a oligarchic legacy. We gotta make our guys... Decent for this n oncoming battle or incoming 
We're ongoing. It's something. If we appoint Amani and move her to that thing, then she can get us to eight points in five turns. Which might be enough to take it back from him. We need to get missionary out here. Can I yell at Brazil for bringing people into my land here? <laughs> okay, well we've told him not to do it. We'll see, what, we'll see if he does it. I asked him not to, and he is my ally. So he may respect my wishes, since we've gone ahead and joined forces here. He didn't respect my force, my wishes at all. He's a... He's a rascal! Why would he do this to us? Alright, so what do you have going on here? An aqueduct would be useful. I hate having to build an aqueduct, by the way. Not a fan. I'm just gonna have you start building an, a knight, please. A knigget. Okay, so... I do think we can take these cities pretty quick. His army is going to be a little harder to deal with. But we do have a decent sized military here. We have the chance of taking Muskrat away from whoever has control, which I think is, uh, <coughs> is uh, Gilgamesh here. Swolgamesh. All right, we, we got our Royal Navy dockyard in our capital. Which is nice. I guess I could have dropped it over here, potentially. Had it next to our thing. So, what I wanted to look at was to see if it got us... Uh, it's only getting us two culture. So I think it's based on the city and not where the dockyard is placed. Because the dockyard did not get us a bonus troop there. So that was an experiment just based on putting it over here. And it looks like the experiment was unsuccessful. Or, I mean, I guess it was... It wasn't the failed experiment or anything like that. We just weren't interested in the, in the outcome. We weren't pleased with the outcome there. Did I? Okay, we did we did reduce the cost here of upgrading our boys. And now our cities are in the 40s for defense. We're going to have enough to upgrade a couple of archers to crossbowmen. So we're feeling we're feeling okay here. I think we're going to be able to take out uh take some of these cities from him and obviously it'll be nice to break these uh, ziggurats along the way 25 science is uh, five sevenths of our science per turn so that's not bad so this will get us another trade route really we still need more We still need more science. Let's go ahead and drop that down. That's an important thing right there. Queue up a library. Because we're looking to regain some ground here. That's important business for us. So three turns until Amani is there. How about we trade for 
Your dies. You. All right, we'll give you two gold per turn. I hate these trades, but uh, we're chasing them. Them luxuries. It's making me make decisions I normally wouldn't make, but uh, that's kind of the point of having these little extra challenges is that I'm, I'm following a rule set that I wouldn't normally follow, you know. And there's some, uh, there's some entertainment with that, I think. It's a little... It makes it more interesting, probably, overall. Alright, so Tarsus. We should be able to rock you, sir. But we need to get machinery, and we need to wait... Two more turns. Alright, you should get this... Susa, what do you need, sir? Ooh, there's a plus two campus up there available, potentially. I'm all about that action. Let's see here. I do need builders over here, so I'm going to put that, even though you're at the front line. Eh, I don't know. I don't like that decision all that much. Not a huge fan of it, but... We got a decent size of military coming up here to help us. So are you actually losing pressure here? You're not losing pressure. Why does it say it's down? Maybe you are losing pressure because there's multiple combined pressures against you. Not really sure how that UI indicates things. We would like to get rid of your religion here. Remember that people break down. It doesn't matter too much to me, but. I don't know. It could be handy. Okay, so you're rank 3, so we want you upgraded. And you're rank 2. So you're the next in line to be upgraded, I think. Let's move you here. And, yeah. We'll move you guys in here. You've been fighting somebody, did we? We didn't look at who you were fighting, did we? You're not at war with anyone. Are you fighting this city-state over here? Your free city, I mean? Alright, so I want to be able to make... ...universities. And then I need to get to printing as soon as... I'm Like, I want printing right now, but we, we've got problems here. We've got things that have to be solved. So we declare war next turn, I think. And hopefully this thing goes well. He doesn't really have any troops over here, but he does have the capability of having knights, obviously. So that's threatening. But we've got a good force here. And hopefully a unified front once we get rid of Muscat as his friend here. Please be my friend. Be my friend. Yes, okay, so that, that worked out the way we wanted. We need to get one more era score in nine turns. That sounds impossible. No, it actually should be fine. Hopefully we can do that. But I'm sorry, buddy, that it's come to this. We're getting you a surprise war. And this is, this is just a, uh, I mean, it's because we, I feel like we have to. Can I break this? No. All right, let's get uh, let's get you into position here, sir. Get you around here. Mm. 
move some of these boys towards the line. So we do not have 90 gold for our second upgrade to the archer. That's fine. All right, so that's half of the wall down. Not bad. Follow Stink, please. I'm not going to tell him I'm not going to spread religion to his city cuz uh I don't want to listen to his crap. I'm just going to I'm just going to do what I want. And what I want is to spread my religion. Sort of. I don't need you to stop it. Can I I'm going to have to denounce Brazil, I feel like. You've denounced me, sir. He's like, you're a rascal. You're a rascal. Brazil is a rascal, though. My troops are merely passing by, Cyrus. Do not worry. I am using your area as a launching ground for this battle. Brazil. <laughs> Stop converting my cities, Brazil. You're using my own tactics against me, I feel like. Right, we need you to heal yourself. We should get you upgrade here. Dude, what happened to our gold per turn? We were all set to get... Uh, We were all set to get an upgrade soon for our archer. And then suddenly not so much. Do we have a spy leeching gold from us, perhaps? Something along those lines? Question mark? All right, let's go ahead and just get you guys ready up here. There's no ziggurats to hit over here, which is unfortunate. So what if you put an industrial zone right here? It's not bad. Not amazing either. I mean, it'd be better if we mined that thing. You should get a lighthouse though, because we need more trade routes. No, he took Muscat back. That is annoying. This will send you to Nanmadol. Nanmadol. The town of Non. Rich, buttery Non. So Muscat is being annoying over here. You're a rascal. Why did this happen to us? Why did this happen to me? Um, I guess you can move down here. Let's just move you guys a little uh, gingerly in this direction. Mr. Battering Ram, you've done your, your due diligence over here. You can come help these knight friends out. Yeah. So we're getting science. We're going to capture some cities here. Everybody's annoyed at us for declaring war. Something about being a warmonger, they say. Oh, I don't get that. I don't get that one bit. I really want to capture this city, though. But I also want to burn down this ziggurat. So let's see. Let's burn down the zigs. Let's fire upon this boy. And then... Take the city? Can you guys do it? I have faith. Keep the city. Liberate to Persia. No, we'll keep it. We need to send a governor. You know what? We might as well get Victor out here. We need... 
He's not a great guy to have, but if we're going to have somebody out here when we're pushing the front line, we might as well bring Victor along. It seems reasonable to me. Maybe it's not reasonable. Okay, so we can... Put you up here. You guys can knock down this wall. Or mostly knock down the wall. That was a decent attempt. We need the monument to try to regain some loyalty. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the loyalty there in time. We need to change to having loyalty stuff. But we should be able to retake the city regardless, so it's not that big a deal, honestly. And then we can take Kish, which should help. So Kish should help us get some loyalty over here as well. This should be fine. I believe. Stop converting my entire empire over to your religion. It's really not cool. I'm not a fan of this. We'll convert it back to Sting and then you'll use your freaking charges over here. Gosh, you're crazy. You're driving me up the wall. You're driving me batty. Let's see where everybody is right now, by the way. So we made it up to 40 science per turn. Gilgamesh is 94. But we're going to be putting a dent in Gilgamesh right now, so... We'll slow down his role. The Congo's role needs to be slowed down as well. But he's pretty far away from us right now, so he gets some time, I think. Which is unfortunate. Culturally... We're at 54. Congo is more than double us. So... We, we've got some uh, some work ahead of us here. Gaining some more territory via the via capturing some of his thing is gonna help us out a decent bit here. We're also getting some improvements in our land. We're getting some campuses and things like that. That's gonna help out. We've got a long way to go, but I feel like we made the right strategic maneuver here in attacking, building up and attacking Sumeria. We'll see if that's true in the long run, but right now it feels correct. We've got Sting on our side, but uh, Eastern Orthodoxy is a plague. Nothing against those e Eastern Orthodoxes. This, we're talking purely in the Civ game perspective here. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!